say they add a comment. So now we have uh, a set of people that do these two actions and we can compare how they behave before and after comments versus before and after posting uh, comments. Uh, and we would assume that, or the hypothesis was that their attention, the way they pay attention on Facebook will shift uh, when they post content. Why would it shift? Uh, there are a number of reasons. Uh, uh, one of them that the mechanisms of expected rewards, was that a question or stretching? Uh, good. Uh, the, uh, no, it's good that you're stretching. You can also ask questions. Uh, the, uh, one of the uh, reasons it would shift that they have uh, expected the rewards that will uh, trigger a mechanism that causes them to go back to Facebook more often, and, and we'll see if that happens, and also uh, create different consumption uh, patterns. So when they do go back to Facebook, they'll behave differently or they look at other information uh, because they expect the rewards to come. Uh, we also think that we'll, they, they'll change uh, their uh, behavior because of reciprocity. So they will want to reciprocate uh, the attention that they get from others to the posts that they uh, receive. In particular, we expect that they'll give more feedback to others as well. So we use data from uh, Facebook, obviously. Uh, they have fairly rich data. Uh, we took uh, two and a half million such pairs of actions from users. So we had two and a half million users. Each of them on some Wednesday uh, posted a comment and some other Wednesday a week later uh, uh, posted an original post. Uh, around these actions, we have everything they viewed, they liked, so Facebook knows. When you're looking at something that you're paying attention to something, how long a certain status message is in your viewport, uh, uh, they can tell, and obviously they know whether you click to like it or share it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Obviously all the inf 